Welcome back to new exercise in SOLIDWORKS. This is our isometric model, scale 1.2 s to 1 and all dimensions are in millimeter. So let's see what's going on. Now this is 3D model and we are going to start with this backside flange. You will see this length 76 millimeter and the height you will see from this side 36, 64. The radius goes 16 millimeter and there is a four okay, hole we will make later on and the thickness 6 millimeter. So we have to choose a right plane for the right view. So in this case the right plane is going to be perfectly suits for this. So even simply you can click sketch or even though you can activate sketch from here also. Click see right plane now let's activate line tool now draw our sketch and we will keep the bottom circle as the center point for this bottom hole so move cursor here if you move cursor again to the point and see it will automatically convert into arc Okay, now here I am going to select center point and origin point, connect it, right click or press escape key to out, now first make this one construction, again click and vertical. Now here we have to, okay, select this point, tangent, make sure these two points are tangent and these two lines, select hold shift key, select these two line equal, smart dimension, let us define the dimension. 76 millimeter, 16 millimeter, okay, 36 millimeter and the distance from here to this point 64 millimeter. But still drawing is not fully defined because of this center of this circle. Hold shift keys, center point and origin point and activate or uh, apply make constraint look this is fully defined this sketch x tool keep end condition blind sketch from plane we will keep as it is end condition blind and thickness goes to 6 millimeter and it is moving in perfect direction say yes now in this drawing you will see this cylinder part this is 100 millimeter away from outer face. See. Now we will make with the help of revolve a boss base feature. Now inside there is a hole. This diameter 16. I forget to write here hole. Then the height 82. 6 millimeter these flange heights. And radius uh, diameter 34, 44. Okay. Let us do this. 100 millimeter. So let me create a first plane. Activate plane. And I will choose this back face and here the dimension let us apply 100 millimeter. But this is moving wrong direction, flip side, say OK. Now select the plane sketch and here I am going to activate center line, activate from center to center. This is going to be help us. Activate line tool. Now I am going to start from here. Connect. Now let us define this. First let us define the height. 82 millimeter. 6 millimeter. Okay, now one more select these two lines and create a relation collinear and parallelly create one more relation equal. So we do not need to define dimension here. Again activate smart dimension, outer one and select this. If you move cursor outside, outside you will see it will convert it into 
diameter 16 similarly for this 34 say yes and let's take outside one and this is 44 okay let's take a isometric view look now activate revolve boss base feature now here only one construction line that's why this is automatically going to de detect by axis of revolution this center line end condition keep blind and angle 360 degree because we need a complete solid complete body 360 keep merge result say okay click and hide look now here let's make this flange 6 millimeter this flange and this is lies at center and uh, there is one more flange 6 millimeter thick 25 and 35 and here it's tangent to this face now center distance you will see from edge from this hole to this edge 20 millimeter so select this face a sketch activate line tool and draw one line and activate smart dimension and the center distance 20 millimeter now exit and go to extruded boss base and see here keep sketch plane now here we will come later first come to here thin feature because this is only line not close profile mid plane you will see okay now depth uh, width 6 millimeter look now now comes here direction and here I am going to choose up to body and I will select this body now you will see the preview how I am going to extrude to this body now rest keep as it is save ok now look now for second flange we need to create first plane because 35 millimeter select this top face 35 millimeter flip offset ok now select plane and sketch activate line before going to activate here activate hidden line visible now activate line tool and start from the face of this to this now hold shift key select this line and this circle and we need to create one relation and that is tangent smart dimension this distance 25 millimeter look this is fully defined sketch isometric view let me ok rev feature now look this is first let me choose thickness thickness distance is 35 millimeter from above so let me go to second side depth or thickness 6 millimeter and the direction you will see arrow is moving this side so simply choose flip material side say yes here look even we don't need evaluate just simply click on the edge and you will see at bottom right length 35 that's it hide mirror and here first I'll choose plane so what is the perfect plane front plane feature select this rib you will see the preview if you rotate say ok now here we have three hole 12 diameter this is lies here and here 16 by 18 at both sides. So we will apply hole wizard and here one tool called legacy hole. So here I will choose simple hole. Diameter 12. Depth if we keep blind you can change. If you keep up to next you can't change. 
see so i'll choose blind and depth keep 6 mm according to thickness position now select this now place at this point just rotate it and place somewhere here and somewhere here right click or escape key to use exit now make few important relation okay let me define this first 16 height 18 now this one from outside 16 for height i am going to use hold shift key these two po points horizontal now this is fully defined this sketch say okay look our model is ready if you can edit appearance here part already selected i'll choose this simple color say okay fine so this is our simple tutorial for the beginners i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching